Oh, hi, Janice Winward here with Midnight Arts. Uh, I am. I have uh, three canvases here tonight. This one is a 12 by 16, and the two side ones are 12 by 12s. And I am going to do uh, balloon smashes on them. This is my very first attempt at balloon smashes. I should have done it on like an 8 by 10 first. But anyway, I've got these prepped and they've got white paint on them. Uh, and uh, I've just been informed that uh, my daughter is... Um, it's actually almost 4 o'clock in the morning. And I just was told that my daughter is being taken uh, by ambulance to uh, Pocatello, Idaho to have an emergency... Uh, Apodectomy. Uh, so I'm going to finish up this painting and maybe catch just a couple of hours of sleep so that I, so that then I can go down and uh, and see my daughter, uh, see if she's okay. I, I live in Idaho Falls. She lives in Malad. Uh, Pocatello is halfway between us, so. that's where she's going to be having her appendix taken out. Okay, so my plan for this is to have some big um, flowers like maybe here, here, and here on this one and and maybe one over on each one of the smaller canvases. I have all different kinds of balloons, all different sizes of balloons. Um, I don't know. I've watched uh, several other artists do this, and um, they all do it a little bit differently. <laughs> so uh, I don't know how this will turn out. Oh yeah, this is not really what I wanted to do. I'll go ahead and put a couple on here. But what I what my plans are is to um, dip the balloon in one and then and then put it on the other canvas before I wipe it out, wipe it off. So uh, yeah, so that's kind of what my plan is. I like lots of colors. Had kind of a, I don't know, not a very good day. I was really, really excited to get my balloons. I ordered them actually off uh, Amazon because I didn't get into town to get them. And uh, you'd be surprised how hard it is to find uh, assorted sizes of balloons in one package. Um, you can get all different sizes if you buy separate packages of each size all the way from like three inches up to um, up to your 12 and 14 inch ones. Um, I didn't want any that big, but I just wanted to get just a few balloons, different sizes, all in the same package. You know, one price. I don't want to pay five dollars a package for a whole bunch of one size balloons. So, gosh, I'm not doing very good here. I'm splattering paint all over. Oh, I didn't do a very. Uh, I was really excited to do my balloon uh, smash. And I came in uh, to do it, and there on my workbench was the painting that that I messed up on really bad and I needed to try and fix it and I didn't want to try and fix it I wanted to do my balloon pool and so 
my, my balloon smash and so I was kind of um, depressed about the whole thing and thinking, oh, I have all these different sized balloons, where's my camera? Um, I was thinking, you know, I just, so anyway, it was kind of depressing. <laughs> so, so basically, I didn't do anything for a whole day. Okay, I think, oh, who is it? She goes straight down, rolls around, and then straight up. So pretty. I can understand now why they show that, why everybody shows that after they lift it up, because it is really pretty. <laughs> On blue, it's just, it's almost a shame to wipe it off. Oh, and I can't get my cloth here ready to to wipe it off. Oh, that's really a shame to wipe that off. Okay. And this one isn't actually isn't even a balloon, it's a glove. Okay, so they go straight down. Roll around and straight up. That one didn't do very much. But it's pretty on there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I started to tell you I didn't do anything for like 24 hours because I was so depressed because I couldn't do my balloon smash because my table was taken up with that other painting that I had to finish up and I was so irritated about what I had done on the painting. And anyway, so then my like depression kicked in so I just sat and did nothing for like 24 hours and um, and then finally uh, tonight I just said no this is nonsense you want to do the balloon pool do it but first oh and, and I've been trying to get my videos on and I've been trying to do several a night trying to get caught up because this is uh, today is January the something or other, 23rd, 24th, it's 24th now because it's 4 o'clock in the morning. And, um, and I am just into, um, November videos, trying to do my videos. And uh, so I'm, you know, I'm way behind. Oh, that is so pretty. It's selling up. Oh, it's selling up so nice. Oh, I wish I could get the light on that one. That one's pretty. Um, and so I said, okay, whether I want to or not, whether I feel like doing it or not, I got to do at least one video. So I did one video tonight. And I said, okay, I don't care how late it is. I, I paint. Painting it, and I want it, so I uh, went ahead and uh, painted. Now I'm painting, <laughs> and, and what all of that nonsense was leading up to was I am I am having a good time. Uh, so I, I'm glad that I, you know, like forced myself to do it. It was not easy because it was because I just was depressed about ruining that other painting. Even after I fixed it, I took the time to try and fix it and, and I, it was ruined. <laughs> okay. Let's try this one here. I 
just took the thing and, <laughs> and took my rag and wiped off the balloon and a whole glob of paint went right down in my lap, <laughs> which is what made me laugh. So <laughs> I am glad that I wouldn't let myself get away with not painting. I had looked forward to it for so long and planned on it. I'm not getting really the real flower shapes that so many people get. <laughs> I'm getting just round. Oh, I wiped that one off without putting it on another canvas. Oops, another drip on the... And that was another thing that was just discouraging for me was, um, well that was one of the things that was wrong with the painting, the one I messed up. Uh, because I was trying to fix it and I was using um, varnish and I haven't had... Um, Clean. Um, what is this stuff that's on my table? <laughs> uh, parchment paper. Haven't had any clean parchment paper, so I've been trying to work with what I had. That was one thing, so it had dried paint on it. Then, uh, on my parchment paper, so on my table. So then the, the other thing was that. Um, when I sit here and watch videos, because I sit here and watch videos on this TV that I use as my monitor for my videos, um, watch YouTube, I pick at the dry paint. And so it was crumbly and, and stuff like that, you know. And uh, and it got on back and stuff got on the painting I was trying to repair. Oh, that's, look how white that is and it's still pretty. That's pretty, that's nice. Okay, now what am I going to do? Some of these I think look like too much. Too much of a circle. I wanted them to be more Look at this little tiny balloon I've got. I wanted him to be more flower-like. This one doesn't look much like a flower, but it sure has some pretty cells in it. Maybe I put too much on there now, so maybe I need to use one of the bigger blooms, not this little tiny one. And I do want some of the darker blue in there. I think what's happening is my my uh, balloon is slipping around instead of just rolling around. It's slipping. I need to be careful not let it slip. Just roll it without slipping. So I think that kind of stirs up the paint. It stirs the paint together. Flowers are looking more like 
fireworks or something, <laughs> rather than flowers. <laughs> paint on my hands as I'm trying to wipe off the balloon. <laughs> I'm just getting more on there. <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that now. I think that's okay. kind of wish it looked more like petals up here, you know, rather than just, but I like the dark purple around the outside, and it kind of goes with there's dark purple here and here and here, so, oops, I just stuck my skewer in there. If I was good with the straw, I could probably, you know, blow that out a little bit and make it look not quite so circulars. These over here, you can't really see those over there. They're really circular. Well, I think I'm going to use the heat gun on it. Get rid of bubbles. And uh, call it a painting. look at it and I think these two these two right here are just too white there's too much white in them but then as I'm going over it with my heat gun I notice oh here's more like that and it kind of matches it you know and there so it's kind of scattered in between there that there are some that are just really white so I think I'm going to leave them that way um, these big ones that had the more paint in them definitely don't don't really look like um, Petals, but they have some really cool cells in them. That's nice. Okay. Well, thank you so much for uh, being here with me tonight. By the time you see this video, my daughter will be all well. <laughs> um, so uh, I won't be uh, filming any, and I won't be putting any on on uh, YouTube for a while because I'm. Uh, going to spend tomorrow probably in Pocatello and then the next week down in uh, Riverton with my daughter that lives in Riverton. So uh, thank you so much. Please um, subscribe, like, and share and please come back and join me again. Thank you and have a great night.